Hey YouTube, today we're going to compare a couple full-size 45 ACP pistols. And before we go any further with this, we're going to show you that neither one of these Grizzly Bear Killers are loaded. Both of them are empty, they have no ammunition in them, and everybody is safe, and nobody can get shot through a camera. So, what we have here... We have the all popular Glock 21, full size 45 ECP, and we have the FN 545. It's sort of kind of a newer model, just recently released here within the past few months. And we're going to go through some of the advantages and disadvantages, and these are kind of comparable pistols, and we're not going to pay attention to accessories because one of them's got a couple of accessories on them, the other one does not. That's not fair to compare that, but we'll go through some of the differences. Okay, so what we have right here, we'll start with the popular Glock. This is a Glock 21 Generation 4, chambered in 45 ACP. It is a full size 45 pistol, it is a pretty large gun takes up your whole hand it's very bulky it um it comes from the factory it, it, with magazines that hold 13 rounds of 45 acp they're double stacked it's a double stack magazine and um some of the features about it has finger grooves in them i know it's a big debate thing with glock people Generation 4 um, being it does not have the ambidextrous slide release. Um, it doesn't have ambidextrous um, magazine release either. I don't know if that can be reversed or not. I've never tried it. It does come with back straps that you can add to the back to adjust the size of this frame out and in. <clears throat> it has a rail underneath it. I think this is like a Glock only speci specific rail. Um, other than that, it's pretty plain Jane. It comes with regular, the regular Glock sights on it. They are the plastic ones. I do like the fact that it's got the white outline around the back and the white dot up front. But basically, it's a no frills, full size 45. This was used by a lot of police um, agencies across the country that carry 45s. The smart ones that actually carry a good caliber. Because <laughs> why would you want to carry a 9mm, right? So basically, this is Glock's offering for the full size 45 ECP. And Glock's probably the most popular handgun in the world, probably the best selling handgun in the world. And this is their full size 45. Now we'll go to the FN. This is sort of a new offering. This is the FN 545. This is based off of their ever popular model, um, the FN 509 that was out for years, but this is the actual 45 ACP version that um, FN finally decided to get smart and build it in a real caliber. <laughs> this is the 45 ACP. Now this one, the regular magazine in it, holds 15 rounds of 45 ACP, double stack. So you get two more rounds of 45 ACP and the full size frame. Basically, this one's a little bit bigger gun, but it is full size. Some of the features on it, it comes with two back straps. It has this flat one that sort of mimics the flat mainstream housing of a 1911 and it has a little arched one. I, I, I have the flat one on here right now. Doesn't really change the size, it just changes the grip about it. <clears throat> the features of this one, it has front cut slide serrations. It came with factory night sights on it from the um, factory. They are metal sights. It has ambidextrous controls on both the magazine release and the slide release. That's all factory stuff. But other than that, this is a full size 45 and it is a comparable gun to compare to the Glock 21. Now, some of the differences, advantages, and disadvantages of it Glock's going to have the aftermarket support behind it. There's nothing you can't do to this thing. You, I mean, there's there's absolutely nothing. It's just endless the amount of stuff you can do with this. But Glock's 
um, main claim to fame is they call it Glock perfection. They're very reliable. You're never going to have to worry about having any reliability issues with them. But usually with anything, when you start modifying stuff, you're messing with a, a proven product that was put together a certain way because it works. And when you start heavily modifying anything, you may or may not have reliability issues, but there's nothing you can't do to this thing. Now, with the FN, this particular one, it comes with a Picatinny rail, which is a more um, universal style rail mounting system. Pretty much anything will go on it. The Glock has their own their own little deal going on here with their rail. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's pretty much an exclusive Glock only thing. The um, FN has to pick into any rail. Um, this FN has a threaded barrel that comes on it from the factory. I'm not aware that Glock even has a threaded barrel that comes from the factory in a full size 45 ACP. This one had all the plate mount. The slide was cut out and machined to mount an optic on it. And it came with all of the adapters to mount any type of um, popular optic on top of it. Glock doesn't have anything cut in the top of it. So if you wanted a threaded barrel, you'd have to buy an aftermarket threaded barrel for it. And you'd have to send this off to a gunsmith or machine shop and have it cut out. Or just buy a whole aftermarket slide for it, which it wouldn't even really be a Glock anymore. But that's one of the things about it. This would be a bad gun for a left-handed shooter because it has no ambidextrous slide release. I don't know why Glock's always one step behind everybody. Everybody does the, um, has done for a while and does ambidextrous controls now. Glock just started introducing that recently in the Glock 21. They just introduced a generation five Glock 21. that had front slide serrations on it and it had ambidextrous controls on it. Still doesn't have an ambidextrous uh, mag release. I think you just got to swap it around either way for your liking, but they did start offering that. They thought it was very innovative. Uh, every other gun manufacturer already does that. So basically to make this gun suppressor ready, you'd have to change the sights on it. You'd have to have the slide machine or change the slide on it. And you'd have to change the barrel on it, which costs quite a bit of money. This gun costs quite a bit more, but it comes out of the box ready to go. It's, it's absolutely 100% ready to go. All you do is buy whatever accessories you want. You already have the sights, the good sights. You already have the optic mount ready slide on top of it. You already have the universal rail on it and you already have the threaded barrel on it. Now, when we get into operation, I'm gonna take the magazine out of this and compare the triggers. Now, Glocks have real spongy triggers. They're known to have real spongy triggers, but of all the Glocks I own, this is probably the worst one. It's not the worst trigger I've ever seen, but it is the worst one. So you have this much take up on it and there's the break on it. It's just, it's just real spongy. There's the reset, which is pretty good. You still have that little bit of sponginess in it. Now this one has the three and a half pound ghost trigger bar on it. I put those in all the Glocks that I have. It helps out a little bit, lightens it up a little bit. It just changes the little angle of it on the inside of it. It's all it does. It really doesn't make it a three and a half pound pull because it's not, but that's what they write on the on the packaging with the FN pull the magazine out of it the trigger on it has a definite wall and then a break and it is 100% better than the Glock I mean it isn't even close this thing is absolutely wonderful we're gonna do the reset on this one there's no sponginess it's all positive and very tactile this gun by far has a better trigger on it. But even if you, um, in order to make this Glock, this Glock right here, equivalent to this, you would have to change the slide or have it heavily modified. You'd have to buy a threaded barrel. You'd have to buy raised sights for it. Or even if you just wanted night sights, you'd still have to upgrade them because this Glock comes with those plastic sights on it. You'd have to do something with the trigger 
I don't know what you would do with it to make it even close as good. And you'd have to put some kind of extended magazine, which Glock doesn't make extended magazines for this particular gun. All they would do is make the plus two um, floor plates that go on them. So you'd have about a 15 round magazine, which that's what this one comes. This one also comes with an 18 round magazine from the factory. And Glock doesn't have anything even close to that. So basically, I'm, I'm just showing you the options out there for full-size 45s are not as big as 9mm because there's a lot of people who can't handle a 45. <laughs> I guess there's people who don't go grizzly bear hunting, but <laughs> grizzly bears. But um, there's a, this, this gun's really, really awesome the way it comes equipped. Now, you are going to have to pay about twice as much for this gun. I don't know, right around twice as much for the FN 545 tactical as you would a Glock 21. But Glock doesn't, if you're looking for a suppressor ready Glock, I don't think they really have one. You just have to make this into it. And I feel by the time you spent the money to put the trigger and the slide, the threaded barrel, the sights and all that, you're going to have more in this one than you would on this one. So I would probably elect, if I was wanting a tactical style suppressor ready gun, I'd probably choose the FN over that. But I know everybody likes Glocks and I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to hate on Glocks because um, they are really good guns. They are really reliable and all that, but they all just seem to be a couple steps behind when, um, when you're talking about accessories and how they come from the factory and size are pretty similar if you look at the slide size they're about the same size the fn's frames they're, they're all about the same size the fn may have a little bit bigger frame now the magazine sticking out the bottom of it they're about the same width but the fn just comes more equipped with the ambidextrous stuff and the way you can accessorize it a lot easier I don't understand how Gucci Glocks you would afford to do this with all the stuff you'd have to change on these plain Jane things, but they all figure out how to get it done. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're not looking at accessories. We're just looking at how easy it is to accessorize these things and what you get out of the box. And what you get out of the box is a lot easier, a lot more equipped gun with a lot better trigger with the FN than you do the Glock. But both of them are equally as reliable both of them run fantastic it's just um i think this one just comes a little bit more equipped but you do pay a little bit more money for it but anyway i just wanted to compare two different full-size 45s a glock 21 generation 4 and a fn 545 tactical let me know what you folks think about these two if they're comparable which one you like better which one you hate let me know in the comment section but anyway folks thank you very much for watching my video and you folks have a great day